Mm, sorry. I'm gonna eat like a pig during this video. I'm starving. Stevie's at work. He's off his Adderall. He's probably running around counting the ceiling tiles and shit like that. So I just can't handle anything today. I gotta do everything. Multitask, multitask. But um, I've been thinking about doing this video for a while and I wasn't sure if I should. Well, not immediately after because it involves victims of a tragedy who are now speaking a lot about that tragedy and while they should and I support their cause, two of them really motherfucking annoy me. And I'm just, I see these two on the fucking news all the time and I literally just want to run in into the shot and just fucking flick them. I don't want to punch them, smack them, anything. I just want to flick their little fucking noses because that really hurts if you do that to a motherfucker like that. They fuck, ow, ow. And you know, they're fucking Generation Z. They'll just start crying as soon as they go like this. They'll be, ah, don't hurt me. I'm scared. Anyway, um, who I'm referring to, and this is going to get me a lot of shit, but I just don't care. I, I, I'm honest on this channel. I got to give you an honest reaction on things. And these fuckers have been annoying me for a while. Now, let's get this out of the way. They are people who represent the Parkland shooting in uh, Florida. I am behind these kids 100,000%. Okay, I really don't care. I don't go to high school anymore. I mean, fucking, you, you dodge the bullets. It's not, <laughs> okay, that's so bad. All right, now, I give a shit. I hope no kid ever gets shot. I hope nobody ever gets shot. I don't want anybody ever to get shot unless they are a psycho with an ax, like either Corey Feldman or Tyler Henry, and they're waiting for me at my house in the shower in a tutu, masturbating while holding an ax. I don't know why they would be doing that, but that's just what I picture in my scenario when I have a wet dream. Anyway, that's just, I'm telling you too much. But so, um, the kids that are annoying me, okay, so this big school shooting happened. Well, you know, another school shooting. Now we're used to it, which is really fucking sad. And these kids want gun control. And you know what? It's not, I'm not in school anymore. It's not my place not to say whether they should or shouldn't. I fucking, whatever. Okay, fine. I'm behind them. They shouldn't have to worry about dying when they go to school. However, there's two motherfuckers get on my fucking nerves. The angry lesbian, what's her name? Um, Teresa Gonzalez or something. Her name is Gonzalez. I forget what her first name is. She's always just pissy. Just pissy. And the other one is pissy too. And I think that's why they irk me. His name is David Hogg. Hogue, Hogg or whatever. Like he looks like Eddie Munster. Like if Eddie Munster was like modern and had kind of a good haircut now, that's him. He's always just pissy. And you can always tell they're on the news because CNN loves those motherfuckers. CNN loves to interview him like, well, you know, somebody said in Alabama today that they'd like to hold on to their guns. What do you think about that, you two angry Generation Z losers? Go ahead, tell us about it. And the girl... She's like one of those girls that we all went to school with. The annoying vegan, like, slash lesbian, slash... I mean, you know, no shade against that. She's gay. Fucking God bless her. I love her. If she's a vegan, God bless her. And, you know, she's going to twitch and die as soon as she has a piece of meat someday accidentally. But that's okay. We're not going to judge her. Okay, it's a judge-free zone. She's in her safe space. But, um... I think her name is Emma Gonzalez or something like that. And right away, she was right in a microphone right away, wasn't she? She's like, you know, I call it BS... Today I call BS on the gun makers. And when you say that you can't help us, I call BS. Power to the people. What's this shit? You're not black, bitch. What the fuck are you doing? What is it? What's this shit right here? Uh, every, and the white boy does it too. The white boy constantly. He's always pissy too. He's another motherfucker. Like, you know what? He always does this shit. He's always scowling. Like, you know, like he just smelled his own fucking rancid dick. Like he pulled the fucking foreskin back. He has it. I don't know why I think he does. And it's just that fucking, you know, like mucusy weird shit. He didn't wash it in a few days. So he smelled. He's like... I want to say, what did he say the other day to piss me off? He's like, I want to say, um, we're going to have to vote and take democracy back because our fucking parents don't know how to use democracy. And he loves to use, you know, swearing and everything, which shows me how educated he is. Listen, you bitch, you went to a good school. You graduated pretty well, I guess. I don't know. But forget, I didn't go to a great, great high school. I didn't go to college or anything like that. I can speak better than you. I just choose not to at this time. But I'm an adult. I have that right. You shut the fuck up. You, you barely had pubes. You got pubes, what, five years ago or something like that? You got your pubes. That you got your pubes. So you became a man. You became an angry little man. Angry little fucker. Don't give me. Okay, it's not about a liberal thing either. There's fuckers on the right. Ben Shapiro, another mother. Angry little bitch. Just an angry little Jew. That motherfucker. Just angry. Say something. Because somebody said something liberal today. And I have to fucking go please Breitbart, even though they hate Jews. I love them. Mm, daddy. Daddy, I love it. I love it. I'll say more bad things. But um, this David Hogg kid and this Evan Gonzalez are just always pissy and angry and telling us how we should run our lives and shit like that. Listen, what happened to you should not happen to anybody. But I saw, like, someone on Fox News, never thought I'd be defending Fox News. It's not, you know, it's bad. Laura Ingram, she's a talk show host on Fox News. She's another one of the blondes. Like, she wasn't, like, pretty enough to be, like, a major anchor. She's, like, one of those, you know, she's got a dick. You know, it's just, it's just, like, tucked in her fake vagina. It falls out every now and then. She walks funny. I saw her one time being interviewed. She's, she walked like a basketball player. She's like, hey, how's it going? I'm going to say some incendiary things. You ready? She said something about this kid. I don't remember what it was. Like, he couldn't get into a good school. Petty, stupid, she's an adult, she should know better. She's on Fox News, what the fuck do you expect from her? She's fucking, you know, they're not brain trusts over there, let's be real. 
But this kid fucking went off like she just said, I'm going to, you know, tonight on the Fox News, I want to talk to David Hogue, who's the angry Eddie Munster looking motherfucker, along with the angry lesbian taco vendor. What's her name? I don't care. She's Mexican, right? Can we put, can we put her back? Where's Trump? We need him. But <laughs> she's like, you know, um, she said this horrible thing. She's like, uh, whatever she said about him. And then he's like, uh, he, she got fired or something. She hasn't been on her show in two weeks. She issued an apology. I'm sure she didn't mean it either. And they asked this kid, I see, you know, Ashley Banfield or whatever bitch on CNN sitting there, you know, basically they suck these kids' dicks, even if they don't have one, as soon as they come on there. They're like, hey, how are you doing today? Yeah, you went through a rough time, rough time, yeah, really rough time. Yeah, um, somebody insulted you today. What do you want to say to them? What do you want to say to them? I'm surprised they don't just sit here, you know, masturbating the, the boy as soon as he starts talking. Like, yeah, yeah, you had a rough day, right? Don't shoot my face this time. Yeah, oh, baby. let me make mama make it better. But... So she says something like, you know, Laura Ingram, yeah, that bad, bad woman, that evil witch. Let's kill her. Okay, let's kill her. Let's put her on fire. I'll help you. The angry lesbian will tie her down too. I don't know why. I know she's your friend. But um, I just want to say she said something bad about you today. But she apologized. What do you think about her apology? What do you think? This fucker is doing this already. He's twitching. He's got a shit. I'm telling you right now. He's got a shit. Fucking take some fiber. You will shit. Get, get over yourself, you little douche you. He goes like this. He goes no, I don't accept her apology. Because the bully is a bully is a bully is a bully. And me, 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 cry, cry, cry. Privilege, privilege, privilege. I'm entitled, I'm entitled. And nobody can say anything that I don't like. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Listen, how much money have you donated? How much money have you donated to the cause? And you know the kids, the Parkland kids, the black ones, they're mad at you too. You know why they're mad? You won't share the mic. You know share the mic? Listen, the Black Lives Matter people too. They want you to share the mic. You won't do that. You and Emma Gonzalez will run as soon as there's a microphone. Like, oh, we're angry. We're angry. Does anybody remember us? And this, this fucking shit all the time. I'm not saying they're not bright. I'm not saying they're not well-educated. And I'm not saying they have a worthy cause. I'm just giving you a visceral reaction. These two annoy the motherfuck out of me. They had that rally for guns. There was one poor girl. I was almost moved to tears. She got up. She actually threw up on stage. I felt so bad for her. And she was talking about how she'd seen people shot. And, you know, she'd been a victim of this violence. And that's not cool. And then I'm taken right out of it because I think after that, this David Hall Getty Munster fucker gets up there. He's like, We're not gonna take this anymore. We're not gonna take it. No, we're not gonna take it. And we are mad. And we want this. And we want that. Me, 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 me. They're not likable. That's exactly what it is. Neither of him or Emma Gonzalez, who came up there later, she she's all dramatic about it. And I'm telling you, we knew this girl in high school. Wasn't she the girl who was always angry about everything? Like, you know, you'd be eating like a good burger or something like that, you know, in the cafeteria. And she's the bitch who'd come around and throw those pamphlets in front of your face where, you know, uh, they show you how cows get gutted and their heads cut open and the eyes sucked out. Like, this is what you're eating right now. Hmm? This is what you're eating right now. See, I knew that. You probably didn't because you're all stupid and I'm really, really smart. She's one of those chicks. Like, you saw her coming. Anybody did? She's like walking down. Like, hey, I saw important to say I have something really important to say and a movement I want you guys to get involved in like, oh my god here comes that girl again fucking pretend you don't see her pretend you don't let, let, let's just go this way or she's a fucking nightmare every time we try to do something fun can you imagine hanging out with her hey you guys want to see a movie I don't want to see that movie because it it advocates white privilege it's fucking it's called Black Panther what are you talking about still I somehow think that white people are responsible for it and advocates black privilege I want to go make a speech you guys want to listen let me wait, hold on let me get my soapbox real fast it's like oh god why do we invite her anywhere Listen, I don't know what the right answer is. I am, like I said, I am for their cause, but these two little fucks are getting way too much power. And the fact that this David Hogg was able to get up there and haw he's hogging the mic. <laughs> the fact that he's able to get up there and basically put a woman out of work, a woman I despise, by the way, but I'm going to stick up for her as far as she should be able to work. She's a grown bitch. All right. You shut the fuck up. What do you mean you don't accept her apology? How forgiving of you? Isn't that supposed to a thing you're supposed to do is like forgive people? Unless she stabbed your mom in the clit, then shut the fuck up. I'm fucking tired of hearing you. Fuck. What the fuck? What are you? What have you changed? I want to know what you're going to change. Cut to 20 years from now. Garen fucking tea it. He's going to be a right wing and she's going to be, I don't know, probably, you know, at Home Depot getting something and building in an oppressive house. And I'm jealous of that. Lesbians can build things. I wish the fuck I was a lesbian. I <laughs> You know, I'd be able to fix shit that I cry about now. It's like, how does this hammer and nail work? I know, can't do it. Hello? What's the, what's it do? Can I see through it? Can I spy through people? But David Hogg, Emma Gonzalez, I support your cause. I understand it. I just don't like you fuckers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't like you. You are unlikable. Get the other kids. Let them speak more. I like them. I like them. I, I relate to them. I understand them. You two fucks, you need, you need to go. Eddie Munster and, and, and her, you know, you, she needs to go find a girlfriend who, you know, will give her some and he needs to, you know, stop, you know, beating off to torture porn on the internet and, you know, pulling his pecker and crying at night. Cause that's what he does. I guarantee it. I could just see, oh, man, he, man. <laughs> 
Shut the fuck up, all right? I'm not for anybody getting shot, so don't come at me with that. I am for gun control, actually. There, I said, okay, fine. Other people are gonna hate me for saying that. I'm just telling you where I'm at. I'm not against the fucking cause. I'm against the two assholes that are seem to be running the cause and fucking, they love to speak to a microphone. How about speaking with the therapist? How about speaking to some of the families of the victims? How about, you know, check on them once in a while. Have you, you know, I'm sure you get lots of money for media appearances and stuff like that. Why don't you give them some checks? I'm sure they could use it. They lost their kids and all. Just an idea. Fuckers.